yeah, local brothers, we're gonna go therapy. You know what I mean? You suck it up. You don't go to the doctor. You know what I mean? Hydrogen peroxide and duct tape, crazy glue, cures all. So our first major project was tasting kakako. Uh, it was a collaborative space for young chefs to try their concepts before breaking out on their own. And then from there, we helped Hawaiian Airlines build out their space called Lunchbox. And at this time, like we're cranking already, you know, we, we had Lunchbox um, sort of helped us incubate and then open up Mission House. And so this is 2015 and 2016. And from the outside of it, it looked, we were cranking, you know, Amanda and I, we had, we had our hiapo, we had our firstborn, Eli. Uh, we had, you know, our, our, two, our two restaurant spaces. We had an event company. I was doing, you know, I was doing a bunch of uh, film projects. So it looked like we were cranking. It looked like we were just top of the world. And what most people didn't realize was that I was miserable. What happened was I did not know how to manage multiple restaurants. I didn't know how to manage all of that, plus trying to be a supportive husband and, and a father. One might think that that is the typical chef story, and it is. You give your entire life to the restaurant, everything else comes second place. And that's okay for some people, but it wasn't okay with me because I was miserable. I didn't want to be the guy that checked in with my cooks, you know, half an hour at a time. Hey, you good, you good, you good. Okay, okay, shoots are going. And then off to the next restaurant. I didn't know how to keep my guys inspired. And in the winter of 2016, I lost about 80% of my staff. I don't know what happened, but somehow at that point, I realized that nothing was going the way it should be on my, you know, on my watch, the way I wanted to do it. So I was willing to take a jump of faith and see a, a therapist, go to therapy. And any local person knows like, hey, local brought us, we don't go to therapy. You know what I mean? You suck it up. You don't go to the doctor. You know what I mean? Hydrogen peroxide and duct tape, crazy glue, cures all. And, but I decided to go to therapy and I started to work on that. And once again, Amanda and I kind of had this talk, this leap of faith talk, and we decided to close every single one of our restaurants. Uh, we decided to cater. So thankfully, uh, we're just as busy catering. And at that time too, I had also started to speak a lot more to student groups, um, a bunch of other presentations, both on things like sustainability, you know, Aloha Aina. Uh, one of the places I spoke to relatively frequently was at Puno School. And one day, uh, the principal, Emily McCarran, she came up to me after, uh, after a presentation. She's like, hey, coach, you, know, you really connect with people and students. You ever thought about being a teacher? She goes, what do you want to do at Puno Home? I'm like, what do you want me to do? She goes, no, 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 what do you want to do? And I kind of just spit out what I thought would be awesome. And I thought how there are not very many chefs who um, use their skill set to parlay it into you know, conventional areas of study. And that is something that I found very interesting that I wanted to try. And was just like, why not? So while we're young, and this all connects to the thing about finding yourself, is that when we find ourselves, we find what uplifts us. We find what motivates us. And it's not something that you're gonna realize young. It's something that you're gonna learn as you get older through falling down dozens of times and getting up again. <laughs>